So the ways this is going to work, Corona's are going to go in there, and it's going to be a kind of a big open area, and there's going to be a Shadow Dracolich in there. And the tank, which is going to be Bazinga, he's going to go over and grab the dragon, and she's going to take a minute to go through some dialogue, uh, and then she's going to activate, and he's going to drag her into the corner, and he'll be into the corner, back into the corner, that way her back, you know, everybody will be DPSing her from the back, and she won't be able to wing buff at you away. And she won't be hitting you with her, her breath weapon. Her breath weapon, yeah, kind of like VOD. So her breath weapon is negative energy, and it, uh, like, dispels Death Ward. And it makes it so that Death Ward can't be put back on you for a couple of minutes. And there's a timer you can examine yourself, or it shows up in your debuff bar, I think. Okay. So it, it's really important you have a death block item on for this raid, because... The casters in here will cast, uh, I think, Finger of Death. So, and then we're going to have two people that are going to be dedicated to trash, and they're going to be on trash for the rest of the raid, even when, you know, we're beating on the dragon, when we go to the shadow side, and I'm going to explain what that means in a minute. And the trash people, their top priority is to kill the casters, the death lords because for every death lord that is alive in the playfield the dracolich the boss has 20% damage reduction not 20 dr 20% damage reduction and i think it's 40 extra percent damage with her physical attacks so if those death lords start piling up out there and there can be as many as 5 out there she can be really tough to damage and do a lot of extra damage so it's really important that the people on trash take care of them right away. Now, Garon, you're going to be part of the Dragon DPS group. So once Bazinga establishes aggro, you, and he says to come in, you're just going to start beating on the dragon from behind. Okay, cool. And then Musk is going to tank the Kaljargs to the side of the dragon. And like I said, when you do it that way, he can reach the entire party at the dragon or if they're in the center with his spells if he needs to help out. Now, what we're doing for this first part of the fight is we want to DPS the dragon down to 50%. And when the dragon's down to 50%, she will summon shadows. At that point, everybody who's not tanking something or not on trash, so the other eight people will go to the center with those shadows and take down the shadows there. When the shadows die, there's a chance that they will spawn a portal. And that portal doesn't look like a traditional portal. It doesn't look like this purple portal in front of us or something. It looks like a gray or a black ball on the ground, kind of like these balls that are over <laughs> over here. What's that spell called? That's an arty spell, right? That's like a force field of some sort, or is it, or is that a globe of invulnerability? Uh, globe of invulnerability. Okay, yeah. so it looks just like that, but black and smaller. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what you're looking for, mm -hmm. and you need to click on that to go through, and that will take you to the shadow side. And there's going to be a whole other thing to do over there. And I'm going to explain that when we get over there, okay? Okay, so, um, Zynga's going to tank the dragon. Musk is going to tank the Kaljargs. And let's see, it was Kamalia and Red 40 on trash. Two self-sufficient people on trash. Let's do it, folks. Did you say you need people on trash? Nope. Kamalia and Red 40 are going to be on trash. So Bazinga on Dragon, Call Jargs V Musk on Trash, Kamalia Red 40, everyone else is Dragon DPS and Shadow Side Portals. If Trapper types could take care of the spell wards, that would be awesome. Please and thank you. There are going to be some spell wards around the area. No big deal. Take them out, they don't respawn. 
Now, Musk, you're not trying to kill the Kul'jargs because they will just respawn. And probably right about here where I'm standing is a better spot because when you're there, you're, gonna, you're a little close to the dragon. All right. And if you put your Body of the Sun on, people can see you really easy and they know where to where to take the uh, Kul'jargs to. Bazinga, let us know when to come in. Uh, bring in a friend. What do you think, Baz? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can come in. DPS group on Dragon. Now, we are just doing normal, grown, and it's, she's really easy on normal. She's actually, even on hard, it's not too bad. Alright, that's cool. I mean, I'd rather, you know what I mean? Yeah, we we normally just do it on normal, just because you know it's it's easy and there really isn't a lot of benefit from doing it on higher difficulties. We did it on hard the other night, and it was just it just turned into a little bit of a hassle. It was hard. <laughs> Not really. It was more irritating than anything else. You were there, weren't you, Retta? Yeah. It's just this non-stop, uh, you know, we didn't have luck with the portals. Yeah. We probably didn't have the best rolls. Well, I shouldn't say probably. We didn't have the best rolls that night for getting the jobs done, so that's one of the things that made it kind of drag on. Not <laughs> Garone, there is also a death mechanism in this raid, um, which goes into effect for, let's see, when you're in any of the mirror puzzle areas, as well as the end fight but not any of the other puzzles. So uh, it's not a timer like some of the other raids. It basically... What happens is you get a wraith that forms. It says, like, it says like Keeper of Garon, and you can't be raised until that, that Keeper is killed. But there's kind of a workaround right now that you can run away from your soul stone and bounce back twice, and then you can be raised. Shad hmm. Shadows are up. DPS group to center. When we get on the shadow side, we're going to kill all trash all the way around. We're going to be doing the 2x2 two two method. Portal's up. Killing all trash on the shadow side. So right now we just got some beholders and um, a couple of helmed horrors to deal with Garon. I think I missed the portal. Oh shit. Are there any other, um... There's more shadow step, so let me kill these real quick. Drone, stop moving. The reason why we go to center, too, is because that way... See, the portals are only up for a few portal seconds. Up. And you need to click on it quick. Click the portal. Alright, he's through. Great. And so, you know, like, if we do, if you don't take him to center and you just kill all the shadows anywhere, then, you know, everybody's look, running around looking for him. But if, if you kill him in the center, everybody knows the portal's in the center. That's why you take him there. Right, right. So we're doing two by two. Please do not just jump into portals. Also want to show you how this works here. You can see the uh, there's a portal in the, the northeast and the southeast. Uh, yep. Trying to find where you're at. Okay, come to the portal in the southeast. That portal in the west, by the way, goes back to the dragon fight. Don't worry about those shadows, just come okay. come over. I'm gonna come to you, stay right there. Okay, I just want to show you real quick that there are six portals here, and there are two up right now, and you just move this laser beam 
to pull up the other portals, okay? In e each corner, the north and southeast corners, have a total of three portals that you can spawn. Don't get in a laser beam, it will kill you if you are in it when it spawns, or if you stand as still in it, it will kill you. You can move through it safely though, but I still recommend jumping over it. So here's the thing. Now we're, we're hunting for the dragon's true phylactery. The Dracolich's true phylactery. And it is randomly placed inside one of these portals. Now all of the portals, all six of them, have a phylactery in there, but five of them are decoys. So basically, we're sort of just hunting around for the right one, and, and you, you go in there, you take down the phylactery, you hope it's the right one. Now you can send multiple people in at a time, to do multiple phylacteries at a time. The more that you do at a time, the better chance that you have. You just A lot of pugs are just sending one person in at a time because it becomes very difficult to coordinate doing multiple people at a time because you have to take them down at the same time. You have to take the phylacteries down at the same time. Otherwise, if somebody kills it too soon, this, everybody who's inside a phylactery chamber gets sucked out back to the dragon side. Okay? So we're going to be doing two at a time. And we're what we're going to be doing, the way we're going to be doing is we're going to send one person into a portal and they're going to prep it. They're going to prep the phylactery uh, and have it stable. Stable meaning there are no dots on it, there aren't any shadows beaten on it, there's no lasers beaten, you know, hitting it or anything. Prepped and stable so that they can kill it within a moment's notice. Once they're prepped and stable, they're going to call it out and we're going to send another person into the other portal and they're going to go in and kill it as fast as they can. And three to five seconds before they take it down, they're going to give the kill order, and then the person who prepped it will know to kill it then too, and that way they'll both have killed at the same time. And the reason why we do it that way instead of just sending two people into prep is if we sent two people at the same time to get them prepped, one person could kill it by accident, which would just suck both people out. So if you get one person to prep and stabilize, it, it uh, takes away from that error factor. And we don't lose anybody if the, if the prepper accidentally kills. So I need someone who can prep it to go into the north portal, please. Thank you, Ani. Let us know when it's prepped and stable. We need a killer, someone who's not good at prepping but better at killing, to come to the south portal. So doing it this way, we have a 2 in 6 chance of getting at the right one. Don't go in yet, Retta. Right. And... You know, sometimes it don't tell me how to play my tune. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, um, you know, it drag it can drag on and on and on because it's just it's a luck of the draw kind of thing. So if it does drag on and on, sometimes we'll do three at a time. Sometimes we'll do four at a time. We've we we did up to five at a time one time. So, but theoretically, you could do all six at the at once. Are you ready there, Annie? And you would get it 100 percent. Yeah, Annie's prepped. Annie's prepped. Go ahead and take it down. Right, let us know three seconds before you take it down. Fifty. Twenty-five. Kill. 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 Let us know when you're out. Okay, need okay, another yeah. person who can be self-sufficient and prep it. Yeah, I can get it. Okay, two knights, go ahead. Let us know when it's prepped and stable. Need a killer, someone who's not so good at prepping, to come to the south. Karon, why don't you go ahead and come to the south since you've not done it before? Do you have some way to heal yourself in case you have problems? Because there's going to be some shadows in there. Just, just pause. Okay. You're a barb, so I assume that you can do some decent DPS. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to wait for two knights to say that he's prepped. And then I have to go into the portal. There's going to be some shadows just like these here. Okay, prep. Alright, Garone, go ahead and go in. Take that phylactery down as fast as you can. But before you take it down, like three seconds before it goes down, give the kill order so that 
two knights knows to take it down too. Yep. Or if you take it down by accident, you call that out too. Okay, I'm gonna go in to help you out. That's okay. I'm in here now, guys. No, I'm I'm in here now. Kill, kill, kill. Hell yeah, we got it. Everybody left on the shadow side is going to pick up shards in the center and go back through the west portal to come back to the dragon side. And then you're going to put those shards into these braziers around the outside of the center called ward flames. What a left portal. Everybody through the portal that doesn't have a job. Garone, go ahead and come to the center, or go through one of these portals over here. If you didn't make it, okay, that's okay, I think we're going to have enough shards. Um, nope. But basically where that big bubble was protecting the real sh phylactery in the center on the shadow side, that exploded. You need one more? I got it. And it left a bunch of shards on the ground, and you got to pick up those shards and go back through the west portal and put them in these ward flames. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy, man. Yeah, it's it's very confusing your first few times, but it's actually not too bad. It looks like we're lit. So dragons in the center. How you doing there on the call jargs? Oh, it's just fine, yeah. Piece of cake, good. When you get a torque, it's awesome to do it that way because they just give you endless mana. So here's the deal now, Garone. Oh, you died. Um, Go ahead and uh, run away from your soul stone until you bounce back. You can you can run off the edge or just run away from it until it times out, whatever. Don't move. Stop moving. There you go. Okay, so now that we got all the braziers lit, all the ward flames lit, we take the dragon to the center and we're going to DPS her down. Now here's the thing. She has to go down on that center mount. When she dies, she has to go down on that center mount, like where all that dirt and rubble is. Okay? okay. And then when she goes down, you have about a maybe three, four, five second tops window to pull the levers in the north and southeast corners. Okay, and it's going to blast her with like some laser beams. So you got to kill her in the center, and as soon as she goes down, the, there will be people on the levers to pull the levers, and if you do, if you get the timing right, then that completes the raid. So, once she gets below 10%, she's getting close now, we don't want any more dots on the dragon, because um, we need to be able to control the DPS. If she goes off center unexpectedly, we don't want her to go down off the center. Also, once she gets below 10%, I want, uh, I'll want i go ahead and put up AoEs on the levers so that it will uh, pull the aggro away from the lever pullers. And I want two people on each lever, please. Now, here's the difference between what most pugs are doing. Most pugs are just put one person on each lever and oftentimes not even any AoEs on them. So if they get interrupted, they don't have time to pull it again. Aguilarasa is going to get right back up right. and heal up to, like, I forget what it is, like 20, 50 percent. So we've got people on levers. Get ready on levers, guys. She's getting close. Remember, if she goes off the center now, you have to stop DPS immediately. Don't wait for me or anybody else to say anything. She's off the center. Stop DPS. Stop DPS. She's back on center. But be careful. Okay, yeah, she went off again. Stop DPS. 
keep in mind that it needs to be her highlighted circle on that center, not her physical body. That is correct. Good call, dude. She's on center. Take her down. Get ready on levers, guys. She's super close. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, 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 pull. Great job, guys. That was awesome. Trash to chest. Oh, if you ever, um, Musk, if you ever need to get out of those call jarks really quick, you can switch to uh, Winter Wolf form and snow slide right through them. Oh, okay, great. Lock on your loots. Oh, let's let Garone do the big chest since this is his first time. Congrats on your first uh, Temple of Death War, buddy. Thanks, I appreciate it. 